Hey guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And today we're going to talk about Peter's Book Club, which is listed below. So let me kind of give you a little background story of Peter's Book Club. I actually said in a vlog, I think, last week that we were at like 1,900 members, which we're not. We're at like 1,600, but 1,600 is still fantastic. And, you know, I was thinking about this, like, during any live stream, we have anywhere from, like, 30, 50 to 100 people in there that have read, that have actually read the book that we're reading for the book club. And, you know, when you think about that in terms of, like, there being 1,600 members in the group, you know, many of which that don't come to the live stream. But at the same time, I'm like, even if it's just, like, 20 or 30, like, that's a large book club. And I am so proud of this book club. I am so just happy and excited about it. And I'm so happy that I started it. I have to give a huge, huge thank out, th thank out. I have to give a huge, huge, huge thank out. Thank you to my very, very dear friend. I know Boo Radley, Mel, who is my partner in crime for the book club. It is just as much hers as it is mine now. I'm gonna list Mel's Instagram. She has recently changed her Instagram over to a bookstagram. I wanted her to get on booktube, but she said I would prefer to do bookstagram, which I actually think for us doing the book club together works really, really well because I have booktube, she has bookstagram. Um, so maybe we'll have to look for a book blogger out there to be the third person, I don't know. So anyway, but it is just as much her, you know, love as it is mine of doing all of this, and we just get so excited talking about it, as well as other books. We talk about all kinds of books, and to have a friend in my life, you know, my best friend Tanya and I, we talk about books a lot, but she reads different books than I do. Well, quite frankly, she reads anything free on the Kindle at these, de these days. She'll call me and she'll be like, I just read this book and it was like 25 cents on the Kindle, or 99 cents on the Kindle. She goes, it was so good. And I'm like, what's it about? So we'll drive around at night and we'll get fountain pops and then she'll like read, she'll tell me, uh, what it, it's called, uh, she says, I'm going to tell you my book. So she'll tell me her book or she'll be like, tell me a movie, tell me a book. And so then I'll tell her what I'm reading. But we don't ever read the same things. And so it's nice to have a friend that I talk to, you know, and, and this is what is so great about the bookish community is meeting other people people that have similar interests as you and you can talk about books and things like that. I bit the side of my mouth earlier in the week, like, a, well, actually, it's been about a week now, and so I'm, like, talking around it, and I'm, like, stuttering and lisping and <laughs> Peter, third grade, all over again. But anyway, um, so the book club is just, I, I just love it so much, and I started it a year ago, um, I think in March or April, and at that time, I was just, we were just reading, like, pop culture classic kind of books. Like, I wanted to read, like, books that I had read, like, V.C. Andrews books. And then I wanted to read some that I hadn't read, like, Valley of the Dolls. But what ended up happening was, like, a lot of people would be interested in it, or nobody would be interested in it, or it just wasn't as good as the book that I had remembered originally reading, Endless Night by Richard Lehman. Everybody hated that book. Um, so we wanted to kind of start theming every year, and so we read last year I'll Be Gone in the Dark by Michelle McNamara, um, One Woman's Search uh, for the Golden State Killer, and she was actually the person that coined the phrase the Golden State Killer, and we read it, and we read it for the book club because everybody was recommending it. It's like in the book club, it had just come out and we read it and it was the most read book of last year in the book club. Everybody loved it and the, the live stream, everybody participated in it. And so Mel and I were talking about it and we're like, well, why don't we just do a year of true crime? You know, like we'll just read all the great true crime books that are out there and kind of cover the serial killers, but then other things as well. So that's what we did going into 2019. We decided that we were going to do a year of true, true crime and I... The pups are over here and they are wrestling. It is so funny. But I do not regret it one bit. We have had such a blast doing a year of true crime. Um, we have read, so let me, I'm going to see if I can remember all of these, okay? But I probably, I'll leave something out. So, okay, January, we read The Stranger Beside Me by Ann Rule, which was about Ted Bundy. February, we read um, the uh, Truman Capote book, In Cold Blood, because I think that was February. Um, maybe it was March, I'm not sure. No, it was February. February, we read In Cold Blood by Truman Capote because it is was known to be the very first true crime nonfiction. He kind of made that whole kind of genre up uh, of the nonfiction book. And then uh, March, we read um, the, about the BTK killer from his daughter, Carrie Rollins. And then April, for the anniversary of Columbine, we read Columbine by David Collins, which was fantastic. It's probably my second favorite read of this year. Um, and then May, we read Lost Girls, which was about a uh, Long Island serial killer. It was horrible. I didn't like it at all. 
Um, but they are making a Netflix uh, docu-series out of it, so I'm really happy that I watched it. And this month for June, we are reading um, Killer Clown by Terry Sullivan. And he was the assistant district attorney for, um, I think it was Cook County, the state of Chicago, or the city of Chicago, um, at the time of the John Wayne Gacy murders. And it is about the investigation about the John Wayne Gacy murders. It's not so much about John Wayne Gacy as it is them, like, nailing him and catching him. And it is so good, you guys. I think it's the best book. It is the closest to reading um, I'll Be Gone in the Dark that we've had this year. It is probably, to me, the best true crime book that we've read this year. And I really didn't expect it. Like, I wanted to read something about John Wayne Gacy, but I didn't know anything about this book. It reads like a thriller because it's all told from the police, uh, the police and the investigator's points of view. It is so well done. It is so interesting. And um, you really re learn about the psychopathy and the arrogance of John Gacy through the detective's point of view. It's scary as hell, too, I have to tell you. There's been a couple nights that I've walked inside after listening to it, and I'm just like, oh, I don't know. Um, and then the book that we're reading for the entire summer, which is like the extra credit book, is Helter Skelter by Vincent Bugliosi about the Manson murders. And I have to tell you that I am supposed to be, I just looked, this week I'm supposed to be like on page 137, and I haven't even started it yet. Um, I judged a pageant all last week, and so I just didn't have any time to read. So tonight I'm going to sit down and really get into this. So Helter Skelter is the book that we're reading for June, July, and August as extra credit. So, you might be asking yourselves, well, Peter, now that you've, like, got us all excited, I need a little coffee, what are you changing about the book club? Because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And that's kind of our attitude. Like, we're having so much fun with it, we're not going to change a whole lot about it. But we are going to change the book for July. Now, we have already said, this is the problem with already putting it out there. We had said we were going to read about Son of Sam. Mel and I, in talking yesterday, we wanted to read the Son of Sam book that has the uh, detective notes in it and has the trial papers and it has everything about it. The problem with that is that um, there, it's like hard to find at some libraries. It wasn't on some websites. It wasn't on Audible. And we're like, this is going to be hard for people to find. One of the things that's been so great about certain books that we've read this year is that it's been easily accessible to libraries, Audible, you know, thrift books, Amazon, wherever. So what we decided to do was push that off for a couple days or for a couple months. We're not sure when we're going to read that, but we, we are really wanting to read. I was going to say we are, I'm not going to say we are because I don't know, but we're really wanting to read a son of Sam book. So we're trying to kind of like research which one would be the best. Um, so if you have any suggestions, please let us know. Um, and, um, we are going to read for, we're moving our September book to July and we are going to read about the Zodiac killer and the book that we are reading, which is the like formidable account of the Zodiac killer who has not been caught. Um, is Zodiac by Robert Graysmith. Here, I'll put the cover up for you right here. And um, it has a very short dis book description. It says, who is Zodiac? A serial killer who claimed 37 dead. A sexual sadist who taunted police with anonymous notes. A man -man who was never a madman who was never apprehended. This is the first complete account of Zodiac's reign of terror. Is he still out there? One of the things that's really interesting about this, as Mel and I were talking, is that last year when we decided that we were going to read I'll Be Gone in the Dark, they caught the Golden State Killer. So that made it really interesting for us to read the book. Because I think it was like we decided it, we announced it, and then they caught him. Or maybe it was like during the month that we were reading, they caught him and it was like crazy. And so it was really interesting for all of us to read it. Well, if you've read I'll Be Gone in the Dark, which if you're going to read True Crime, and even if you don't like True Crime, you should read it. It's a fantastic book. And this woman put her heart and soul into it and she passed away. She was Patton Oswalt's uh, wife and she's just, uh, the book is so good. And to find out about Paul Holes, the invest, I could talk about I'll Be Gone in the Dark forever. But anyway, during that... They talk about DNA testing and um, this whole idea of going to like genetic banks, like uh, what you know, like the where you find your family history and all that kind of stuff. And they talk in there about being able to find other killers. And one of the killers that they mentioned in the book was the Zodiac killer. That they're thinking that they might be able to nail down who the Zodiac killer was in the same similar way that they found um, the Golden State killer. So it'll be you know very very interesting to see if something comes out. It, Mel was like, last night we were talking, she was like, can you imagine if they caught the Zodiac Killer while we were reading the book? I would live. I mean, like, seriously. So, I'm excited about reading this book. Um, and we have some other really great books for um, the rest of the year. I will put the book below. If you'd like to join the book club, here's how you join the book club. Just go get on Goodreads. If you're not on Goodreads and you like to read, I don't know what is wrong with you. Goodreads is fantastic. It is by far the nicest 
sweetest, most innocent social media platform out there. Nobody fights. I've never seen anybody fight. And you just go on there, you review books, you put what books you want to read, you like put what book you're currently reading, you have bookshelves. It's just, it's a reader's dream and I love it. I Anybody that friend requests me on Goodreads, I accept. Um, and then what you, the link below is for Peter's Book Club and you just go to it and you just put join and you just join the book club and that's it. And then there's updates on there. You can, uh, you know, write stuff in any of the threads that you want to. I am not super active in the threads. Mel does a lot of the, the thread stuff. I do more of the videos and get the live streams together. Um, but I need to be more active over there. Uh, so anyway, you can be active in the threads. There are a lot of people that are super active. People tweet me stuff all the time. Um, and like I said, I will put Mel's Instagram below. But yeah, we're really excited. Mel and I are already talking about what 2020 theme we're gonna do. Um, we have it narrowed down to like two or three. She's probably like watching this thinking like we do. No, we don't, don't say that. She always gets mad at me because I wanna give away all the secrets. And she's like, don't say it. I know, but we've talked about a couple different things that we think we might wanna do. And it's not gonna be classics. Everybody in the live stream is like, don't do classics. We're not gonna do classics, trust me. We're gonna do really fun books. This year, doing a year of true crime has been really fun. And I think one of the greatest things about it is that every month is completely different. You know, and the thing is, is that you would think that you go into reading about true crime and that it's people that are just really interested in all this like crazy weird stuff, but that's not the case at all. And really um, what I have found, you know, is that you learn a lot about who you are by reading a consistently true crime, you know, and when, what you're looking for. And I today now look, do they, you know, is the book respectful of the victim? Is it respectful of the victim's families? Is it respectful of the investigators and what they went through while they were doing this? You know, how do they, you know, profile the serial killer or the, the killer in the book and what do they do with that and what do they, how do they want it to be perceived? Is the book emotional like a Carrie Rollins book about her father or is the book, you know, completely just facts like David Cullen's Columbine, which a lot of people question whether or not that was facts or not. But you know, and like, what is the take from that? I've learned so much from the books that I've read this year, and I never really thought that going into a year of true crime. I never thought that the takeaway past just the story would be so great. And it's just been unbelievable, and I can't wait for the books to come. I think that our second half of the year is gonna be like, two to three times better than the first half of the year. So I'm so excited about it because some of the books, if you if you followed along, some of the books that we've read for the first half of the year, I wasn't super excited about, but I'm really excited about now. So um, we'll see, I will see. So if you want to join, please join. And for next month, we are reading Zodiac. And this month we're reading Killer Clown. You still have two, re two weeks, so you still have enough time to read it. Please do. And um, participate in the live stream with us and I will let you guys know more when we get closer to the date. It's usually the last Sunday of the month at 4 p.m. on my YouNow stream listed below. We're thinking about maybe doing it on YouTube this month. But a lot of people have asked me actually not to do that and to keep it over on YouNow. So I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.